good morning guys let's get into the topic and today's topic is wild camel in the ua me akash sudhir is going to explain you about this so let's get into the topic am i right so first let us know how camels are part of ua heritage how how they became part of this ua heritage and culture I have only gathered a small information about wild camel, but you will understand it more when you see about how camels are part of UA heritage. So let's get in. So the UA is historically known for its attachment. UA means United Arab Emirates to camels, which are of social and economic value in the region. This UA people have a special or special feeling or special attachment to this camels which in this country have a social and economic value so this animal that is the camel is famously known as the ship of the desert why you guys will ask only because of its walk which is much like the motion of a ship at sea mainly because of its walk patience is one of its most observable features and camels are generally useful animal so patience patience is one of the most and observable features and these camels are generally useful they are very useful in things and historically the camels in the ua were a dependable source of not only transport some guys will think yeah this can yeah walking through the desert only it is their only job but no there are two more things from that it's food and it's milk camel milk is available almost or mainly everywhere in the world and this arabs that means the ua people they are very proud of the number of camels they possess like they say oh i have seven camels they are very proud and the population of camels in the ua in 2003 was estimated they counted which society count and which thing count the adch also known as the abu dhabi cultural and heritage they counted and they estimated at over 178000 that means 178000 tons that in 2003 we don't know what will be in 2020 so the camels were given these bedouin tribes they used to give camels as a bride's dowry like with brides we guys will give something right like it's they this bedouin tribes they used to give for the brides down this camels not to mention its use as payment of zakat this muslims annual portion of their wealth they will give us charity to people but in time this bedouin tribes they used to give this camel as a zakat as which was at times paid in camels instead of money like i said they used to give camels not the money because yeah it shows much heritage of prestige for them and so now let us know the two different types of camels At the end of this i will show you a special kind of camel so there are mostly or mainly two types of camels the dromedary and arabian camel is large even tall and gulate with has one hump while the back rear also known as asian camel has two humps so we are knowing the difference between the two camels one is a dromedary camel it has one hump and the next is a bactrian camel and this is an asian camel which has two humps and the dromedary is an arabian camel and so the uae 
is home to a large number of wild cats. As you see, I've gathered some information that I projected the last, and this is the information. And this UAE is home to a large number of wild cameras you must have seen them on your trip from dubai to the other emirates or when driving to oman of course if you go by that routes you might have seen one or two of them first of all you don't know you might have seen that yeah it can, it can but it's a wild camera so obviously you can also enjoy watching them anywhere around the city okay, try the beach the beach is the example is Jumeirah Beach Residence, which is in Dubai. However, seeing these wild animals roaming around their natural habitat is definitely a must. So, as I said, yeah, this is a two hump camel, also known as what thing? Five, four, three, two, right now. I'm saying it's a Bactrian camel. And so, only this much, guys. Bye. Have a nice day.